The A-Scope 4 Rhino Laryngo Endoscope is a flexible, high-quality, single-use Rhino Laryngoscope. It is sterile and easy to use right out of the package. The A-Scope 4 Rhino Laryngo comes in two configurations, slim and intervention. The Rhino Laryngo Slim has a 300 mm long insertion cord with a diameter of 3 mm. It features two LED lights and a CMOS camera at the distal tip of the cord. The Rhino Laryngo Interventions insertion cord is 350 mm long with a diameter of 5 mm. It features the same LED-assisted CMOS camera on the distal tip, but also offers a 2.2 mm working channel for passing tools and endoscopic accessories up to 2 mm in size. Additionally, the handle of the intervention has a suction button, suction connector, and working channel port, which allow for the installation of fluids and the insertion of endoscopic accessories like forceps and brushes. The intervention comes packaged with a lure lock introducer, which facilitates the introduction of forceps and other endoscopic accessories. Before using the A-scope, visually inspect the pouch to ensure the seal is intact. Open the pouch carefully and remove protective elements from the handle and insertion cord. Check to make sure that there are no rough surfaces or sharp edges which may cause harm to the patient. Connect the A-scope to the A-view by aligning the blue arrow on the white male connector into the corresponding blue female connector on the A-view. Press the power button on the top of the A-view once and verify that a live video image appears on the screen by focusing the distal end of the A-scope towards an object. Carefully slide the control lever forward to confirm that the bending section of the cord operates fully and smoothly. If applicable, prepare suction equipment according to the supplier's manual and attach the suctioning tube to the suction connector. Press the suction button to check that suction is applied properly. Verify, as needed, that endoscopic accessories of appropriate size can be passed through the working channel without resistance. To begin a procedure with the A-Scope 4 Rhino Laryngo, lubricate the insertion cord to the gray mark using a medical grade lubricant. Take care not to get any lubricant on the tip of the camera. Holding the handle of the A-Scope in either hand, and guiding the insertion cord with the other, advance the cord into the patient's nose following standard procedures. The control lever is used to flex and extend the tip of the A-scope in the vertical plane. Moving the control lever distally will make the tip bend anteriorly, and moving it proximally will make the tip bend posteriorly. Rotating the handle controls horizontal movement. Fluids can be instilled through the working channel of the Rhino Laryngo intervention by inserting a syringe into the working channel port at the top of the A-scope. When using a lure lock syringe, make sure to utilize the included introducer. Insert the syringe completely into the working channel port or introducer before instilling fluids. If a suction system is connected, suction can be applied by pressing the suction button with the index finger. Make sure to not apply suction during the installation process, as this will direct the instilled fluids into the suction collection system. To expel fluid left in the channel, flush with 3 to 4 milliliters of air. When working with an endoscopic accessory, make sure to select one 2 millimeters or smaller and inspect the accessory closely before using it. If there are any irregularities in operation or appearance, replace it. Insert the accessory into the working channel port and advance it carefully through the working channel until it can be seen on the A-view monitor. After the procedure and before withdrawing the A-scope, ensure the control lever is in the neutral position. Slowly withdraw the A-scope, checking progress against the live image on the A-view.
remove the A-scope, unplug the blue port on the A-view, and discard. As the A-scope is a single-use device, it must be disposed of after use in accordance with local guidelines for collection of infected medical devices with electronic components. Do not soak, rinse, or sterilize this device, as these procedures may leave harmful residues or cause malfunctions. The design and material used are not compatible with conventional cleaning or sterilization procedures.